So it's a Saturday night. Um, we're starting this video kind of at the end of the day today. And then what you're going to see after this is all the events that led up to the end of the day today. Today I had to go to uh, Lockhart, Texas to purchase the chair that's under that black fur right there. That's a black sheepskin, by the way. I've had that for a while. And this is another chair that's identical to that chair that I've had for, I don't know, five, six years. So anyway, I was asking the Lord, Father, there's the table and chairs. Is there anything else you want me to put in the container? A few days ago, I heard, you know, put the chair from place, you know, place where place stays in there. And then I heard, look online, find another one. I pulled up Craigslist and I found the same exact model and it was $100 and I was like, that's an incredible smoking deal. So I went to go get it today. And so here's, here's what I was told to do. To face them in opposing directions, which I did, and to uh, put a black sheepskin on one, a white on another. I was told to put the Bible on this side table the Word of God. The other day the Lord told me He wanted to give me a personal message. I opened it up to Ezekiel here. I'll probably share that with y'all maybe in a day or two. It's it's unbelievable. It goes back to the night I got saved. So anyway, He told me to put the Bible here and to put a chess set over here. Now, I know, I know the way people react on YouTube. Oh, black and white Illuminati. The whole point is I'm exposing way past the Illuminati. I'm exposing what runs the Illuminati. And so he told me to put a chest set over here and then on, on this side where the black pieces are to take the king and put it down and to put an hourglass in the middle. Time's up. That's, I mean, that's the message. The Satan's been playing a game of chess with the Lord for a long time, but he knows the beginning from the end. And this, Right here, the Word of God, that's what destroyed that chess game that Lucifer thought he was playing. This, the Word of God endures forever. Heaven and earth will disappear, but the Word of God will not disappear. It will endure forever. And um, this is the most mind-boggling thing that happened today. What you're about to see now in this video there are the events and some of the supernatural communications that today held, which are so definitive for where we're at as a messenger the lord has to message his messenger he has to give you the information one way or another the bible says a man may devise his plans but the lord orders his steps so the lord ordered my steps today and uh i can't wait to share them with you so yeah so here's the hourglass the black king is down the lord told me to put the hourglass in the middle and put the black king down. Game over. So that's what this represents. That's a representation. And uh, this is absolutely mind boggling too. He told me to put this out. I've, I've held on to this for a long time. Uh, one of our members uh, sent me this. She shops at like uh, thrift stores and uh, she resells stuff on eBay and makes made it into a little business. And she bought a purse a long time ago, and there was a wedding ring and an engagement ring in it, but there was no way to find the owner, really. I don't think it was, uh, I don't think it was a doable deal. So anyway, she asked me, she said she was just led to give them to me. And so they've been here for a long time, just sitting in this little bag. And so I heard the Lord tell me, now put these out. And so these have been sitting around for a long time, I, I haven't done anything with them. And um, so now he told me to put them out. Uh, what's really fascinating is one's a little engagement ring and one's a wedding ring. So I'm gonna put them both there and leave them there. And now the container is completely and utterly done. No more furniture, no more stuff goes in, you know, um, I have uh, some place settings for the table, but I'll pray about that, whether or not I'm supposed to put them out or not. You know, just the glasses and stuff. So anyway, so there it is.
container complete, symbolism uh, perfect. The, the symbolism here is absolute perfection. And when you hear the story about today, it, just wait and watch. Okay, so I'm gonna document again. This is just mind boggling, folks. So I was praying yesterday, Lord, what do you want me to do? Actually, it was a couple days ago. Is there anything else that goes in the container at all? Uh, is it finished? And so in my mind, he put, you know, I have a chair that is out where Clay lives in the back. And I, he put that in my mind and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I'll go put that chair in there. It's a real low profile chair. It sits very low to the ground. Um, it's actually a massage chair. And, um, and it won't obstruct the artwork. And so I thought, yeah. And then I heard in my spirit, look online, find another one. So you'll see one in the back of my truck right now. You can see it through the back window. So I went on Craigslist and I found one for a hundred bucks. It's a, it's a $500 chair. The other one I got as a gift. Uh, someone gave it to me. They were just going to get rid of it. So it was in um, a place called Lockhart, Texas. So I decided to take a little road trip today and go get it. And I went to go get it. And uh, when I got to Lockhart, Texas, I've never been there before. It was a pristine little town. I mean, absolutely pristine, clean. And I was driving through the neighborhood to go get it, and it was on this street called Vogel Avenue, or Vogel, V-O-G-E-L. And then um, the address was 801 Vogel, and so I got there. And this house was like a storybook house. It, it had a, a white picket fence, and it was just... It was like something you see out of a movie. It was just this pristine house with a white picket fence. So I got the chair. The people were very nice. And then when I was driving off, I heard the Lord say, look up the meaning of 801. Let me show you what that means. Yeah, it means I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. It also means exceeding joy. And then I hear the Lord tell me, look up the name Vogel. So I called Kat and I had her look up Vogel. It means a happy, joyful person. And then the Lord then the Lord brings to my attention. I drove off. I, I was driving later and I looked at the name of the chair. It's called I Joy. And then I heard, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Of course I started crying but it's absolutely mind-boggling so anyway then on the way back I decided to stop at this place called Bucky's to get food to go you know I mean it's kind of a it's this giant truck stop that's got incredible food so I stopped and I ordered a bunch of collages and you know some cinnamon rolls some beef jerky and stuff like that and when the guy checked me out he said uh, it's seventy dollars, and he goes, "Oh wow, seventy! Oh wow, it's seventy. That's perfect. Wow, seventy, seventy, seventy. I heard the Lord say, "Look up the meaning of the number 70. Yeah, guys, the last thing I'm putting in the container is that chair that's behind me. They're both eye joy. He told me to have them facing opposite directions. I have a white sheepskin and I have a black sheepskin. And the Lord told me to put one on each, have them facing opposite directions. I want you to put a chest set and take the black key and turn it down. Game over. Wow. So, I'm gonna go get my chest set. Amen. Okay, this video is for my close friends. Look how deep the portal goes. Look at the portal, how deep it goes. There you go. Now, I'm just giving you guys a quick little view. The, 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 I mean, sorry, the container is finished. There's the table. Here it's a magnetic field, obviously. There it is. Look at that. Amazing. There's the portal. Look how deep it is. Look at it coming off the wall. There's the fingers of God is eternal life. The wages of sin is death. I'll light those up. There's the firewall with 
a bunch of different colors. Look how 3D it is. See how far it comes off the wall, how it reaches into the space. And there it goes. And now there's the DNA. And look how 3D the DNA is. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Look at that. Mm -hmm. There's the Statue of Liberty being covered with the tidal wave. And that it just looks like it's moving. There's the first black chair chair with the black sheepskin over. Watch the tidal wave move. Let's see. And there it is. Prayer, look at the reflection on the floor. Absolutely unbelievable. And then over on this side, the tree of life. And if that doesn't look like it's living and breathing, I don't know what does. There's the white sheep skin on the chair facing the opposite direction. The Lord told me to put the word of God over here and to put the wedding ring and the engagement ring that Team Marie sent me like over a year ago. Told me to put it there. This is amazing image right here with the light in the middle of the tree. There you go. Absolutely amazing. And then look at how 3D the tree is. Look at it. Just look at the roundness. It's round at the trunk, coming out towards you. The limbs coming right out, like into my forehead even. And then reaching back into the back into the background. And there it is. And then the Lord told me to put a chest set over here and put the uh, an hourglass on the chest set, chest set and the black king down because he's been defeated. His game of chess was nothing against the word of God. Word of God endures forever. Amen. There it is. The waves have come up over Babylon. And she is utterly consumed by fire. And we were given the permission to take freely from the tree of life and live forever. And the word of God endures forever. And there's the portal that represents the escape hatch that has the heartbeat in it. The heartbeat, the spark of life. So, it is done, it is finished. In today's trip to Lockhart, there's a clear indication of that. Just want to show you that tree again. Wow. And there it is. So, I'm just going to walk in and just show you the Of it, just how amazingly 3D the whole thing is, and on the depth of it. Rises of some death, we get to God's eternal life. a very quick testimony look today when I went to go pick up this chair that I'm sitting in because this is the configuration the Lord told me he wanted me to do he, he directed me to go buy this chair in Lockhart Texas I drove to Lockhart Texas and I drove the direction I used to go to my drop zone where I used to skydive in San Marcos and then I had to take a left down this country road and I thought wow what a it was pristine beauty it was so pretty and i was thinking wow i've never been this way it's so beautiful and i looked out i came you know i, I went past this store and i looked over and there was these rolling hills of cotton 
and I went, wow, weird. It was very out of place. It was all this rolling green beauty and it was still very lush because we've had a lot of rain. And then I see these cotton fields and all this cotton ready to be harvested. I even said something out loud, like when I drive, I'll talk to the Lord out loud in my car. So, wow, Lord, take that out. What's with the cotton? That's really weird. You don't see cotton around these parts, you know, it just, we see it down south or further north, but not around San Marcos, Texas. I've never seen it. So anyway, I, I made a comment about it. And then, you know, I, I got the chair, I, I ended up in Lockhart and you saw the, the significance of the number 801 and the name Vogel and the I Joy chair. And I heard the Lord tell me, you know, well done, good and faithful servant enter into the joy of the Lord and I just broke down crying. And so, um, on the way back, I had a call from a friend of mine, Eric. We were talking about some stuff that was going on, you know, on Facebook. And and I, he told me that he went fishing that today and he said, you know, it's really weird. They put up this sign, like where I go fishing, and um, it says Mer Rouge and it, and it says Red Sea. And I thought, wow, that's weird. Mer Rouge means Red Sea. And uh, he goes, yeah, and he sent me a, he sent me a photo he took of the sign. And it said, welcome to Mer Rouge, the Red Sea. Well, the, the chair I picked up, I picked up at a cul-de-sac, basically. Like, you know, like, a, like the Red Sea there, but a cul-de-sac. And um, when he sent me the picture, I looked at it, and literally my jaw just almost came on his because there was a cotton ball in the left corner like cotton that was ready for harvest which i just gotten through seeing and then on the right side was wheat that was ready to harvest and so you know clay and i put together this video tonight and we're sitting here talking about the significance of all these numbers and the perfection of all of this it's perfect and then clay just starts laughing he goes this is the 777th video you've done. Let me show you what that means. <laughs> it's over, guys. Jesus is coming. Cheers. That's it.